The second case is a 60, 76 year old male, uh, atrial fibrillation, arterial hypertension, hyperlipidemia. And this is how he presented with a helix valgus with pressure alcus on the head of the first metatarsal, which as you know, is on the watershed area between the medial plantar artery and the anterior tibial artery and the dorsalis pedis angiosome. Patient had a stenosis of the SFA and the popliteal artery on duplex. And here you can see the distal runoff. There is a problem in the posterior circulation, as you can see here, and more distally, there is a suspicion again of a incomplete plantar arch. And uh, th this is mainly the reason why I want to share this with you. So of course, with a lesion like this, we need to get uh, the blood to, uh, to the uh, head of the first metatarsal, but you can already see here that there is actually a dual re uh, dual vascularization, both from the posterior circulation, and there's also a tiny branch coming off the dorsalis pedis that is stenotic in this segment, and here you can see the uh, branch towards the distality. Again, Knowledge of the anatomy is very important. The anterior circulation is depicted here. Again, the paper from Marco Mansi, And this is the posterior circulation. And here you can see that the area we're talking about here is really watershed between the two systems. Here, a little bit more in detail, the still images, you can see the uh, vascularization from the anterior circulation here, but also the posterior circulation that is contributing to the first met, uh, ha the head of the first metatarsal. So going for the posterior circulation first in an integrate fashion, here you can see the recanalization using selective angiography with a selective roadmap going all the way down. Also in this case, it was necessary to pre-dilate this uh, very tight uh, occlusion uh, from uh, distal to proximal with the Armada XT, a short balloon starting distal first in order to really uh, cross with the lowest profile towards the, the distality and then pull back the balloon after inflation and then follow up with a 2.5, 120 as uh, final therapy delivery. And now you can see reconstitution of an integrate flow towards the posterior circulation with some collaterals here and improvement of the wound blush at this point, but still we have the problem of the anterior circulation that is not optimal. Then we com complete the procedure with crossing in the forefoot of an 014 guide wire. And again, using a very short and small uh, balloon in order to dilate up until the distal segment. And now in the end, we have a complete revascularization of the area that is involved. Uh, I like the uh, nomenclature that is used by John Runbeck uh, from New Jersey, uh, looking uh, at the angiographosome. In this case, you can see that there was actually a dual contribution, uh, both from posterior and anterior circulation in this area. And here you can see now a direct flow also to this second branch towards the head of the uh, first metatarsal.